is New Zealand government going to reopen skilled migrant residence category? Are they going to increase points? Will there be additional requirements which migrants have to meet in order to call New Zealand their new home? There are so many speculations, so many questions in migrants' minds that we thought let's make a video and cover some of these speculations and evaluate what would happen if these speculations were to come true. Speculation number one, if someone is working in a skilled role outside Auckland, you get 30 additional points as a bonus point. According to this new rumor, INZ is going to exclude these additional 30 points from the skilled migrant residence. They simply say that there would be five main cities, namely Wellington, Dunedin, Christchurch and few more. If you're working there, you will not get 30 points, just like Auckland. If you are one of those who are considering or who were considering moving outside Auckland, you know, to get these additional points, please rethink. Because working in any of these cities would exactly be the same like working in Auckland, that you will not get additional 30 points. Speculation number two. There's another speculation that the current points threshold of 160 points can be raised to 180. Now, depending upon your age and your qualifications, you may have to wait up to 10 years and gain skilled work experience to be able to meet the new thresholds. However, if you have a partner, then you can also use your partner's qualifications and their skilled employment if they have one to meet the new threshold. While these are just speculations, one thing is certain, change is inevitable. And I want you to make sure that you prepare yourself for any such changes, that you plan ahead of time and you are not mentally shocked if any of these speculations were to come true. Because failing to plan is also called planning to fail. 